welcome back to the universe, to the, my channel. This is the first Saturday that I have had free in, I don't even know, since we were like locked down in quarantine pandemic. So I was like, dude, should I film? Why not? Why the freak not? The reason I have a free Saturday is because we're snowed in so we can't go anywhere. So all of my usual Saturday morning plans, which are at church, they were canceled. So I feel like a free woman. I woke up at like nine o'clock, which is late for me, especially on a Saturday. I was like, dude, let's just do something fun. Like let's do something that I haven't done in a while. Let's film a get ready with me, even though I have nowhere to go. I think that's the best time to film a get ready with me because I have nowhere to go. It's exciting. Anyways, become a subscriber today. Let's go. Feels like it's been a while since I've filmed something without I mean, I don't have a script, but without like purpose, I guess, because when I'm doing a review, it's easy because I'm talking about the review, you know, or the product, or like if I'm talking about something, or if I have a makeup look that I'm trying to tell you guys, I have something to say, but not having anything to really talk about, it's been a really long time. And I low key feel like I've lost my touch in that but I'm trying to gain that back. And Andy recently said like, honey, don't you think your hobbies cause you stress? During the week, I'm like, oh, I have to film, I have to film, oh, I have to edit. But like, honestly speaking, with a lot of real world stuff going on in my life, like filming and editing is not a top priority because again, it's a hobby, right? And it's not like I'm bound by anything except for my loyal subscribers, which I always, I do feel sorry to because when people are like, oh, I really enjoy and look forward to it, I'm like, I feel so thankful and I'm like shocked, but at the same time, I'm like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't like, I don't like saying no to people and I, I feel sorry when I can't meet my expectation of what they may be expecting of me. I don't know. Today is a perfect day where I don't feel rushed to film or rushed to do anything. And this video might be long, but I don't care. This is a get ready with me. This is my newest go-to. It's so good. I've been, I've been okay. I've been pretty busy. As you guys know, I am getting married now less in less than four months. And there's still a lot of things that I feel like are kind of open-ended. I mean, they're small things. All of the big things are covered. But like, for example, I went and tried on my dress cause it came in and it was, thank God. I, I mean, I still love my dress, but I had bought over five pairs of shoes and like over five pairs of earrings to match. And then when I narrowed it down and brought my shoes and veil and like earrings to, to the fitting, well, just to try it on, I didn't really like the look of my earrings. I didn't really like my veil, which is shocking because I love that veil, but it's just not, it just didn't hit right. So I re ended up returning my veil. So now I'm back on the hunt for a veil. I'm back on the hunt for earrings. I'm kind of back on the hunt for shoes, but now I know better what style. I think those kind of small things have been stressing me out because I just want everything to hit right at my wedding. You know, I want everything to be intentional and thoughtful down to the details. So it causes me a bit of stress. And I thought I was good at handling stress, but not only has that been causing me stress, uh, work has been causing me stress, which is shocking because I used to be like, work, what is work? And I was booling around, you know? But now that I have a little bit more responsibilities at work, I have to be <laughs> responsible. I have never ever lost sleep because of work. I know that sounds very privileged. It's because I'm like a not work focused person. Like I'm not work driven. These days I low key be losing some sleep. I know, I know. Andy and I are just making some other bigger life decisions and it's a lot of money, a lot of time. And then on top of that, I still have all the relationships that I have now. I'm very, very, very conscious that this is my last few months of like sing, sing, like I'm obviously engaged in a relationship, but like singlehood, you know? And I really want to, you know, as much as I am looking forward to spending the rest of my life with my future spouse, I'm st also very conscious that this is a chapter I still have to close and like find closure in. And honestly, I love being single too. It's, a, it's I sound like very like, huh, oh, but it's because yeah, these days I've just been so tired. <laughs> so tired, but there, everything is really good. It's just a lot of stuff that's going on, you know? Yes, so I think I am just starting this new year kind of facing a lot of incoming changes and even with the changes that are happening now, I think I'm trying to keep up 
and do my best. I was talking to a friend of mine and one of the things that I was describing to her was like, I just feel this like pressure, but it's not like bad pressure, but it's this like something on my chest to, to make, that's making me feel like, oh, I really need to give whatever I'm doing my very best. And like, yes, I give my best, but like not really. I think because my natural capacity is pretty large, like I can do a lot. Average is pretty good. I, I'm not like, constantly pushing to give my best just because I I don't know maybe I am I don't know I don't know I'm I, sometimes I don't really know myself very well but anyways we were talking and she was just trying to help me describe what I felt because I was like I feel this pressure but it's like good and like blah blah and it's like a sustained pressure I feel this sustained pressure to continue to do a good job in all the things that I'm doing because I just feel very responsible for a lot of the things that I'm doing. And actually it's not bad because I feel like this sustained pressure is really pushing me to really give all that I have, but at the same time, it's still pressure and it's still, it's still hard. I am okay with it because I really do feel like it's preparing me for, not for just for marriage, but like it's really refining me. I don't know, it sounds, Sounds very Christian because a lot of it's a lot of the stuff I'm talking about is very faith related, but I mean I think in general, right, when you feel a lot of this pressure to to be better and do better, it's it takes work. And what I've been saying is anything good is hard and anything good takes work. So I welcome it, but at the same time I acknowledge that it has been kind of difficult. But it's been good either way. Yeah, sorry, I feel like that was like <gasps> not a not a, it was like kind of deep. See, sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, am I oversharing with strangers? But then at other times I'm like, I don't really care because uh, I'm a pretty open book. I'm a pretty open book. Also, some of these products are products I use often and then I threw some curve balls that, like I don't use a lot, but I'm, well, no, I, I use most of these actually pretty often. But I know somebody asked for like a video where I use my recent go-tos. I wouldn't actually call this my recent go-tos because my recent go-tos are like six products. So I will film that another time soon. Oh, I look really like sunken in. It's not normal. And I feel like all my friends were all around the same age and kind of life stage. Well, okay, I'm in the life stage of getting married, right? Okay, actually all my friends are in kind of varying life stages. So some of us, have recently gotten married or are getting married. Some of us are leaving graduate school and professional school to find their career. We're all in a time of transition and I think it's been tough for all of us. And I can kind of feel that within our all of our friends, but at the same time, it's been, it's been good because it feels very transition-y. And like what I like about transition-y feelings is I know it's movement and we're going somewhere. You know, so I, again, like I was saying, I welcome the transition, but um, even for my friends that are deciding like new places to be, it's it's hard because there's so many things that you have to consider. I feel like I'm in phase two of young adult life. I think there's a video of me trying freckles for the first time, very bad, but I talk about my early 20s, which is 20 to 23, and now I'm 25, I'm turning 26 this year. So I'm like heavily into my mid 20s. Now I look back on my, early 20s I'm like was it really that hard I mean yes and no because like yes circumstantially some things were hard but no because I was living with my buds we were called the bumstead bumpkins we were like living it up every day in in the best way that we could like we weren't rich or anything but we were having a lot of fun like there wasn't as much pressure I feel like but now being a part of young adult phase two there just seems to be something in the air where we all I mean, we just have more money, we have more responsibilities. It, it It's just, there's an increase in pressure. I think I'm handling it okay. I think I'm handling it okay, but wow, young adult phase two is also kind of hard. Sorry, I can't talk when I'm doing my brows because I will wonky them up. Back with my brows on. Anywho, if you're not yet in the phase two, don't be afraid, but it's kind of hard sometimes, as is every stage of life. Then if you are in phase two or past it, let me know how to be past it. JK, at the same time, I still really wanna cherish this time. I am cherishing this time. I'm just acknowledging that there's just things coming at me all, all the time. And I'm like, am I prepared? Am I ready? You know? So um, yeah, there's that one. Other than that, I'm doing pretty good. Honestly, everything is just like, everything is actually going great. Like on an upwards trajectory, I feel like in my life, that I think increases the pressure for me in a good way and bad way, 
that I have to like really be incredibly present, which again is difficult. Presence is all harder than um, people think. Uh, I was gonna share some goals I have for this year, but I honestly, I mean, losing weight is a goal that'll unfortunately forever have probably. I don't really set like really hard goals. Oh, I did, ugh, I don't wanna say it out loud because that means people, that means it's out there, but I, d I cannot read books. I used to be good at reading back in high school. I'm just not good at reading anymore. So I only read the word of the Lord. And then sometimes I, I saw this Instagram post to like read while you're in the bathroom. Even then I can't always do that, but I'm trying to read a little bit more. I'm not gonna tell you how many books I'm trying to read because I don't want people to ask. And I'm also too embarrassed because it's so little because I heard all my friends podcast, Karen, she was like, I'm trying to read 40 books this year. And I can say it out loud because it's on her podcast, which is called something new, which is great by the way. 40 books, that's like a book a day for 40 days. Like that's, there's more books than months. So that means you have to read, Wait, 40? That's almost a book a week, I think. There's 52 weeks, you take some breaks. Heavens, heavens no, I've been reading the same book for five years, I can't do that. What I realized about reading is like, it helps you with your writing. And I'm writing my vows, well I've been writing my vows for a while, but I want them to, I want everything to hit, like I said. So maybe I, I need to read more because I pull a lot of inspiration from many, many a places, or I have been so that I can have some bomb things to say to Bandito. I don't know if I like my face today. It's fine. I haven't even had time to clean my brushes. They're so dirty. I'm not even gonna tell you the last time I cleaned them because I can barely remember. That's how dirty they are. <sighs> yeah, I'm just using one cream shadow, my eyes to mesmerize and this bronzite crystal light, <gasps> crystallize, crystal reflector. Busy girl. Oops. Also, I'm not even doing this correctly, but I really want to use this because it's so good. Just talking my thoughts. It's been such a long time and I swear I used to be better and like I can be funny and stuff. I still think I can be funny, but I just haven't done it in such a long time. I'm so bad at it. I apologize. Also, I've been using my finger a lot to wing. Honestly, it's low key a hack, y'all. Nothing is as precise as your finky. Pretty good, right? Fingy, bro. Yeah, this is definitely not fully my usual because I'm gonna do lip liner and lashes because that's just how I'm feeling. Also, I got this top. Well, I don't know if I should keep it. It's like the trendy cool girl's vest top, but I gotta ask my friend Kaya if she thinks I should keep it. Dang, these are so old. I don't even know if this is sanitary, but here I go. Has I don't even remember the last time I put on lashes. JK was for Kaya's wedding. Oh yeah. I think I wanted to talk to you guys about San Diego and New York. Darn it. It's okay. I'll, I'll talk about it as I close this video. Oh, oh, putting on lashes will never get easier for me. <clears throat> Don't worry. I know, I know you guys. Okay, and then I'm gonna mute it up a little bit more. I hurt too much, dang it. Aish. There we go. I'm done. I feel like I need some strange spray. My face feels super dry for some reason. Mm. All right. This is the finished look. I don't even think I've ever done this combination of products before. So I've never used this blush on camera. They actually gifted this to me. Persona, Georgia. I really like it. It's a nice like peachy pink my beautiful skin. I'm st this foundation is so Skin like so skin like it's so good little lip combo my eyes to mesmerize and my winged liner with my finger pretty good, right? Thank you for listening to me chat uh, I feel like I just like Ugh! and I don't really know what I said, but I'm sure editing this back I'll be like Girl, why did you say that? But you can't even edit it out because you're like mid talking and doing your makeup. That's a hard thing. Sometimes when I'm editing and I see the things that I said, but I have to kind of include that shot. I'm like, but it's fine. It's whatever. I do remain an open book kind of for the most part. So yeah, I'm not too embarrassed about what I say and share. I'm enjoying the start to the new year, but I also, there's a lot going on and I want to continue to do my best in, every area. 
Pauline, my manager who now lives in New York, she started a vlog channel about her life in New York for this this year and she did a New Year's vlog and it was so cute because a bunch of us were up there and her vlogs are so cute. They're like snack bite videos of life in New York. So I highly recommend you check that out and that's how you can see how I spent the new year. Um, but maybe I'll talk about it. Actually, I don't know, I don't know. Overall, thank you again for being here and being a subscriber. It is a small, precious corner of the interweb and I cherish it so much. And I'm very thankful <laughs> that I can sit and talk to everyone listening. I talk so much, I'm so sorry. What can you do? What can you do? As always, be nice to your parents, wear a mask and get boosted. I did not shave. And I will see you at my next video. Bye. Pauline? I had a question. Yeah. Wait, can I talk? Your vlog, your vlog is public, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, t I talked about it in my universe channel. I'm just making sure. <laughs> yeah, man. <yeah. laughs> my manager. Yeah. Yeah. You heard it here first, folks. I'm her manager and she's my manager. Yeah, because I need to show them, well, because I told them about um, New Year's in New York and I said, oh, I forgot to talk about it. And I was like, I don't need to talk about it because Pauline has a great vlog channel that you can check out. Yeah.